Hey YouTube pet community. Wanted to do a video response for Matt over at Glum Chum Piper. He's having a giveaway. Um, I'll put a link down to his in the description for his channel. Housekeeping smoking a uh, Dr. Grabo Color Duke. My wife picked me up this pipe a few years ago at an antique shop or garage sale, one of the two. I haven't smoked it because it needed cleaned up salt treatment and I just didn't have the time or it's been a while since I did a salt treatment so I had to do some research make, make sure I remembered how to do it but I did that recently and it smokes really well it's a good pipe good uh, I like the classic billiard shape we're smoking some uh, Royal Yacht uh, Dunhill Royal Yacht uh, before Peterson uh, before they sold to Peterson Um, so yeah, he wanted to know two things to enter the giveaway. First thing was, uh, advice that you've given somebody or somebody has given you while smoking a pipe. Um, most of the times when I smoke a pipe with somebody, it's usually in a big group because it's usually, um, like a pipe and cigar club meeting or event. Um, I, I, I smoke pipes a lot by myself, usually in the car, at night, um, you know, at, at home before bed, in the mornings, whatever. It's always, I'm always usually alone when, I, when I'm smoking a pipe. When I first started smoking a pipe, it was always with my buddy Ryan who got me into pipe smoking. And, uh, He, um, he would always give me advice, but I can't remember any of it. <laughs> Usually something, you know, girl troubles or something like that. I mean, he was always my friend that, um, my, one of my older friends that, you know, seemed like he had a shit together. As married, had kids, everything like that. Um, so he was always the one giving me advice. But, um... I can't really remember any advice he had given me, um, but I do know I have a story. I guess we hung out. I remember one one night. I remember we were hanging out on his back deck, uh, had a few drinks, and we smoked a couple cigars, smoked uh, some pipes, shared tobacco, and uh, he had. We were talking about all kinds of stuff. I mean, music, relationships, stuff like that, religion. Um, and he, but I remember, I remember we, we kept just drinking because I mean we were just hanging out. You know, kept we were catching up. You know, we we would go probably months without seeing each other, really talking. So we'd get together every once in a while and just hang out. And I remember I just ended up crashing in his. Uh, backyard I wanted to pitch pinch my I had a tent in my car I wanted to pitch pitch my tent and sleep in his backyard and because uh, I thought you know that was such a great idea because I'm you know intoxicated and everything sounds like a good idea when it's not really a good idea um, but I just remember that was like one thing I, I really remember one of, one of the times we've been hanging out and when we now it's like we try to get together and hang out and smoke a pipe. It's usually, you know, we always see each other like at a local show or something, um, or we'd hang out, yeah, you know, like a festival or something. We'd hang out and smoke cigars and had talk a little, you know, talk a little bit about stuff. But actually, I'm trying to get with him this week. Um, it's been a while. I've been really thinking about him, so I'd like to get together. So I'm hoping we can get together. Uh, he actually, what's funny is he works. His his a uh, the business he works for is right across the street from my house. So it's not like not right across the street, but you know, a block away maybe, a couple blocks away. And so it's, I we have no excuse to get together <laughs> at least once a month. And uh, it's been a while. So hopefully that you know is enough to 
to answer your question or get me into the contest. Um, second thing is a, a song that really, you know, tugs on the tugs on your heartstrings. And uh, I have a uh, two of them. One is a song from a band called Hotel Books. They are a spoken word, uh, like post-hardcore band, and they have a they have a song called Broke Love, and uh, one of the lines at the end of the song, at the end of the album, pretty much, is, um, take two years from my life and a couple from each friend, we'll gather another 30 years and bring you back from the dead, and um, I've had a couple friends I've lost, you know, they're my age. Uh, mo most recently, I had a friend, he passed away, it's been a little over a year ago now, and he, um, he was 29, he would have been 30, like a week later, he would have been 30, so, that's, uh, every time I hear that song, I, I think of him a lot, and another one is, um, a song called Mom by a band called Lucero, they're like a Country, alternative country, like you know, just good rock and roll country music uh, from Memphis, Tennessee, and uh, there was a song called Mom, and uh, always makes you think of your mom. Luckily, my mom, she's uh, she's alive and well, healthy. So it was actually it was going to be the song that we would have danced to in my wedding reception, but we had a really small wedding. Me and my wife did, and we didn't really. We planned on doing like all those dances, but we ended up not doing it because it was kind of we lost track of time and it got kind of late. So, but that would have been the song I would have danced with my mom to. So, I'll uh, if I remember, I'll I'll throw some links down in the uh, description to those songs uh, if anyone would like to listen to them, hear them. But um, yeah, I just I got off work a, a while ago and I decided to. Let my car warm up. It's really, really cold and icy, and so. So, hope you guys are having a good Monday. I made a video in a while, so maybe tonight I'll um, I'll uh, try uh, try making a video. Got some new tobacco I wanted to try, or haven't tried in a while, or wanted to review. So. Anyways, thanks again, Matt Glumchum Piper, for the giveaway. And looking forward to your drawing video this week. Uh, catch you in the next one.